Hi guys, my name is Abba and welcome back to my amazing kitchen. Well, summer is just around the corner and we are going to be needing some refreshing drinks. That's why I'm sharing my refreshing hibiscus fruit drink recipe with you. So easy to make and you are definitely going to love it. So let's get started. For the drink, we will need some dried hibiscus leaves, some spices and I'm using some grains of salem which is huintia some calabash nutmeg also known as widiaba i believe star anise and some cloves and i will list them all in the description box down below we also need some ginger which i have sliced we will also need two apples any apples will do two oranges and some pineapple and i'm using canned pineapple but fresh pineapple will work also so first I'm going to pour my hibiscus leaves into a sieve and rinse this quickly under some running water. You want to take out any foreign particles that do not belong in there or that you don't want to have in your drink. Transfer the washed hibiscus leaves into a bowl and go ahead and add all of your spices and really the spices are to taste and then add your sliced ginger as well. If you want a pungent ginger flavor, you can also grate or blend your ginger. Now pour over some hot water which I just boiled in my kettle and allow this to steep for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now I give it a good stir, set it aside and continue with the prepping of my fruits. Now go ahead and slice your apple and remove the core and you can do this in any shape, form or size that you prefer. With my oranges, I'm also going to slice them but make sure that you clean the skins thoroughly because you want them to be clean. We are going to put them in our drink. Now transfer all your chopped up fruit onto a plate and set it aside for later. So at this point, I go back to check on my hibiscus leaves and it is well steeped, so I strain it and separate the juice from the leaves and the spices. Ideally, you can also do this overnight so you don't have to wait around for it to steep or cool down completely. You may need to strain this a couple of times to get rid of all the chaff and have a clear juice and sometimes the hibiscus leaves also contain sand and you don't want to have that in your juice. Now set the juice aside and allow it to cool down completely, but do not throw the chaff away. You can use it for your sobolo or even brew some tea with it. So next I'm going to add my chopped up fruit into my dispenser. You don't have to use a dispenser, you can just use any large bowl that you have available. You don't have to necessarily use apple and oranges and pineapple like I am, but I'm using them because they complement the fruit juices I'm going to add later on. But sometimes I add frozen grapes, strawberry, any fruit of your choice will work here. And since I'm using canned pineapple, I'm going to add its juice as well. Now go ahead and pour your cool down hibiscus juice into your dispenser and as you can see mine is not completely cooled down and that is why you want to do this a day before or way ahead of time. To finish off my drink I'm going to add some grape juice, pineapple juice and some apple juice and make sure to use a pure quality drinks because they will determine the overall flavor of your drink. Now just go ahead and add equal parts of apple juice, grape juice and pineapple juice to your hibiscus juice. So in my case I'm using 1 liter of each juice to 1 liter of the hibiscus juice but you don't have to do it the exact same way. You can play around with the ratios to find out what works best for you. So once I add all of my juices, I give it a quick stir, cover my dispenser and our drink is ready to be used. It is really that simple and quick. So it is now finally time to reward ourselves for all the hard work, alright? 
but please don't tell anybody it wasn't that hard okay <laughs> So over some ice, I'm going to serve myself and of course I have to taste this and it was extremely yummy. You really need to try this simple and easy hibiscus refreshing drink. To make it even fun for the children, we use some of the juice to make popsicles and you know they really enjoyed it. So use this as a way to also play bond with your children and have a great time this summer. Kindly give me a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know if this is something you are going to try. Please share the video with your friends and family, subscribe and become part of the amazing family today. And if you have already done that, I want to say a very big thank you to you for coming back always to support this channel. So until I come your way next time with another amazingly delicious recipe. Please remember to make this drink with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye!